Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading and it will be for all signs. So remember, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates and it's for Thursday the 22nd, I think, of April 2021. Um, remember, my readings can resonate a few days longer than when they're released as well. So take what resonates for you. Okay, so what do we have, please? What is the message people need to hear the most? For Thursday, the 22nd, Angels, Spirits, Guides. What do people need to hear the most? Thank you. Thursday, the 22nd. Okay, I've got... I'm just going to take the one that's turned up right there. So we have, you're ready. Now, this appears sometimes when you don't think you are ready. And the universe is saying, you're ready for something. Uh, so it's a really nice confirmation here. Okay, so let's pull some cards and see what we get. Message for the day, please. Thursday, the 22nd of April, 2021. What do people need to hear the most? I did say April, didn't I? Um, Thursday, the 22nd of April. So we have... The Queen of Pentacles, well, you know, Angel Spirits Guides know what I'm asking for anyway. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Two of Cups. Wheel of Fortune, very nice. Judgment. The Tower. The Empress, wow, big energies, big energies, wow, we've got four major arcana here, and the Ace of Cups, wow. There is an opportunity being presented to you here, and you are being told to consider it wisely because it presents a growth opportunity. It's something to be nurtured, to be considered seriously. Queen of Pentacles takes her time to consider, look at all the detail, you know, but she is a card of abundance, uh, nurturing energy as well. So very, very nice energy indeed. Um, now the Judgment card is a card of a call to action so it feels in this situation you are being told to take action towards it feels like some kind of opportunity being presented to you here you know we have a Capricorn energy here so for some of you you might be dealing with a Capricorn can be Virgo Capricorn Taurus can just be the energy of that queen male or female energies uh, this could be a person but there's a growth opportunity here there's also trust something that you know you can trust this person it definitely feels in this situation this is a relationship to be built on the judgment card can be about making a judgment call a decision as well but generally it can be a call to action so for some of you Maybe some judgment call or decision that you need to make in terms of where you see a growth opportunity happening in your life. And it feels to do with love, romance, relationships. Because for some of you, there is somebody coming into your life here who is going to bring big change because what they represent is the tearing down of the old in order to align to this new opportunity that you're being offered this is new love um absolutely beautiful energy you know the two of cups there's attraction energy uh, a kindred spirit energy you feel like you've known them a lifetime even though you might have been talking to them for a few minutes it's a really beautiful energy here uh, and that tower energy is just an energy of you're being aligned to this opportunity to this person it feels in this situation 
what they offer is life changing. Yeah. Someone's coming in and they are going to change your world. Very nice energy indeed. Yeah. Now it's interesting because, <laughs> you know, we know the Empress is all about the birth of something new. Uh, the time is right for new seeds to be implanted and she's very, very good in terms of love romance relationships because she's Venus energy, Venus in Taurus. So with the Wheel of Fortune, this is perfect timing, things happening when they're meant to happen. And for some of you, it feels like there is definitely this growth opportunity in terms of love, romance, relationships. It could be in terms of coincidence, a lucky happening, um, a chance meeting, you know? Uh, for some of you, that might resonate. Now, that could be in whatever aspect. It could be online, could be physically seeing somebody. Um, but it feels like there is some kind of, and obviously it's not really chance, it's divine orchestration, divine guidance. But there's sometimes an energy of synchronicity with the wheel of fortune, divine timing, destiny. Things happening when they're meant to happen, but it's perfectly timed for new seeds to be planted. You know, the universe wants to bring good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth into your life. And it feels in terms of love, romance, relationships. And the Empress energy is definitely the birth of something new is coming your way. And, you know, that Wheel of Fortune can be endings and beginnings energies as well. You know, uh, it feels like some kind of that, that new path is opening up for you because we have the Ace of Cups, which is new love. It feels like a new connection here. Now, for some of you, the Two of Cups can be to do with... It can be to do with a bond between two people, so it can be friendships as well. You know, I, I could stretch that far, but it feels it feels more to do with love, romance, relationships. For those of you who don't feel ready for new love, you're being told, and this is why this card comes out so aptly, you're ready. You're ready for new love. Uh, because the Ace of Cups is... This, this is you, the, the chalice is you, and the universe is pouring love and light into you. You're being shown love from the universe. And the chalice is, is kind of like a representation of, of, of being open to receive. So there's definitely an energy of your heart is open to receive now. Or, you know, receive with an open heart because there is a new beginning in terms of love. I'm definitely getting this energy. And now is the time to nurture something, to take action towards it. Because it's life-changing. And it's life-changing for the better because, you know, that Empress energy is such an abundant energy. It's a fulfilling energy. It's a satisfying energy. It's a nurturing energy. Uh, it's a card of beauty, you know. Something absolutely beautiful is, is happening here. And there's a message of you're ready. So any doubts... The universe is definitely saying there's a call to action to be made here. You need to take action towards this because the Queen of Pentacles and Empress are very, very similar energies in terms of there is growth. There is something to be grown, nurtured, um, focused on, taken care of, because for some of you, it brings great change. Yeah, very nice energy. So I'm going to pull a final message for you. So we have Spider, Dreamweaver, tune into the energetic grids around you, where can you send your energy for healing, very nice. And we have Frog, stepping into your power, don't take a backseat in your story, it's time to step up. I feel, you know, that that Queen of, of Pentacles, she's not the fastest moving energy, you know, and it might well be, this is why that call to action is, is here to say, now is the time to take action. You know, the time is right. So, powerful energy. 
So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.